Today is a new month and with a new top with a new month comes a new topic. And the topic this month is burden. And the first scripture in the month is Jeremiah chapter twenty three verse thirty eight. But since ye say the burden of the Lord, therefore thus saith the Lord, because ye say this word, the burden of the Lord. And I have sent unto you saying ye shall not say the burden of the Lord. <clears throat> we are not a burden to the Lord. We are a joy of the Lord. We are a, a marvelous. We are a, a work and a wonder. We are one of the finest things he's ever created. We are the finest thing he's ever created, actually. And we have the ability to become gods because of our creation and because of the atonement which helped us to remember that we are children of God and that we can live up to the measure of our creation. And that we shouldn't be afraid to live up to the measure of our creation. We shouldn't see it as a burden. We shouldn't try to run from our worth. And we shouldn't try to see it as something that we can't handle because we can handle all things with the Lord's help. And we are not a burden to the Lord, so why should we treat him as a burden to us? The Lord is there to help us. I mean, he has helped us a lot already with the atonement and the plan of salvation. But he doesn't like to think of us as a burden. We are his joy. And we shouldn't think of him as a burden either. He gives us commandments that we might be protected from that in the world which could guide us to Satan. He gives us all things that we might be able to experience joy, both in this life and in the next, depending on what we do with the time we are given and the opportunities we are given. So the Lord is not a burden to us, nor are we a burden to him. Our choices are a burden because we may make poor choices. But we can repent of the choices so that they're not a burden anymore. But it's everyone's choice. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.